Hey guys, Greg Beard here out of uh, Garden Grove, California on behalf of the United Pool Association, 30-year uh, veteran in the pool industry and I want to kind of sit with you today a little bit and shoot a quick video on one of the key factors in hardening up swimming pool water. In a swimming pool, we got to have hard water because we're dealing with cement products and if you don't have enough of this calcium flake in your water, the water gets aggressive, the water gets hungry and you're gonna to start to see some weird, crazy things happen. I find that by bringing the calcium level up, it's going to stabilize my water to where I don't get as much teeter-tottering of my pH and my alkalinity. So I'm gonna dip into the water here, guys. We're gonna go run through a quick test. So now guys, I uh, have pretty much come up with my test. So now we're gonna go into our LSI calculator, the Arenda app. Right now, with a 76 degree temperature, 0.05 chlorine, 7.4 pH, calcium at 230, a 160 alkalinity, zero stabilizer, zero TDS or salt, 200 phosphates. Guys, I am in the green at 07. This pool is 100%. Langier saturation, LSI, safe. I am gonna mix up about, oh, five to six pounds of calcium. I'm a fan, I like 250 to 300. I'd rather take it up a little bit because this is my insurance plan and the buffering agent for my water. A little bit more calcium in the water, everything kinda just seems to balance out. I like to use calcium flake. I just find that it's a lot better than the prills. Um, kinda the jury's out on that as well. I find that stirring it with a stick, is about the best way. Guys, I like to try to keep the bucket in the bottom of the water because once I put water to this calcium, it's gonna start to dissolve. It's gonna heat up very, very rapidly. Um, I've heard some guys dumping this down the skimmer. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that. That is just crazy, crazy stuff to do. I'm gonna show you the easiest and the best way to do this. I know my feet are in the water here, guys, but uh, I'm going to just hang on to the handle. I'm going to tip my bucket down into the water here um, I'm going to get about oh, a quarter of the bucket here and I'm just going to start to stir this thing up. We want to make sure that we don't dump this on the surface. We want to dissolve it completely 100% in the water. So as I'm stirring this guys, that's moving that calcium around, I can feel the calcium flakes on the stick. And then now that the bucket starts to be in the water, I'm cooling the outside of the bucket. I'm going to slowly start to add a little bit more water into the bucket making sure that the calcium flakes at the bottom don't come surfacing up from the vortex going back in. And once I get that bucket somewhat full, I can now slowly start to dump that calcium in. You're gonna see because of the underwater camera, you're gonna watch that calcium go in. Well, I'm not gonna dump it all the way in, but I'm gonna go to almost to where the calcium flakes that are still in the bucket don't get out and I'm gonna repeat that process again. So now I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna stir this up, make sure that I get all the calcium flakes dissolved. And now that calcium, guys, is at the bottom of the pool because obviously any type of chemical is heavier than water. And so we're gonna dip this back into the thing. As the water comes into the bucket, guys, I still see some calcium flakes in there that haven't been dissolved. I do not want to let them hit the surface because they will attach. They'll eventually dissolve, but it's going to leave some kind of remnants of if it attaches to the surface. So very key to make sure that you stir this stuff up, put your stick in front of it, and then here we go again. More calcium going into the water. And I'm telling you guys, if you're not a guy that's checking calcium, you're not a pool guy. This is the most important test other than conditioner, stabilizer that we have. Um, you know, the thing that I say, guys, is the most, if you're not testing, you don't know. So we're gonna tip that almost out, get to some clear water here. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more water in there so that I make sure. And yeah, guys, that is, uh, that is the easiest and simple way you can add calcium to a pool. So don't put it down on the surface. Don't dump it in a skimmer. Mix it up just how I showed you. Everything's gonna be safe. What's the most important thing I gotta do here next week, guys? I gotta check my calcium level and make sure that it 
Didn't go up too high because that's hard to get rid of either by diluting it by water or uh, dumping off some dump and pumping some water out. So we want to find that happy medium. Industry standard is 200. I want to achieve anywhere between 200 and no more than 300. That's going to balance me out. Middle of the road, 250, 260, perfect. Hey guys, that's a wrap for today. Greg Beard, hope you enjoyed.